Usually at this point, Meredith Wilson gives out with one of those family closing songs that he's created for this program. And tonight he was inspired by the presence of the great American family, the Hardys. And here they all are, Mickey Rooney, Louis Stone, Faye Holden, Cecilia Parker, and Ann Rutherford, in the good news version of Saying Goodnight. The song is entitled, Romance Runs in the Family. Come on, Andy, what have you got to say for yourself? I've got a weakness that's very strong. It's been my weakness right along. But you'd never guess it, unless I confess it to you. Well, I bet I can find out in a hurry. Oh, Polly, what's Andy's weakness? He gets romantic when he's with me. But he blames it all on his family tree. Sure. I'm just keeping an old tradition new. Believe me, romance runs in the family. So, Polly, what can I do? My mouth's romantic, my pa's romantic, and I'm that way about you. Romance runs in the family. It always played a big part. For generations, we've been sensations in all affairs of the heart. Every one of our descendants, down through the centuries, gave away their independence for moments like these, and that's the reason romance runs in a family. So, Polly, what do you say? My folks would like it if we could strike it the same sweet way. I don't know. Oh, Marion. Yes, Polly? Does romance really run in your family? Because I think that romance is just dandy. Well, I'm romantic. My bows are romantic. And you can draw your own conclusions about Andy. Hey, Mom, stick up for your family. Remember the Hardy's good name, please. Now, Andy, excuse me, but you'll not confuse me. Your father can shoulder the blame. Well, this seems jurisprudential, and with the highest regard for the truth, a little romance was rather essential for your other and me, so I must agree that romance does run in our family, and on our golden wedding day, we'll still be spooning and honeymooning in the same old way. Well, Judge, my thanks from the Good News family. Now I think we can call it a day. The time is right now to say goodnight now. In addition to the regular gang, Fanny Bryce, Hanley Stafford, Frank Morgan, Melissa Corgis, and Meredith Wilson, we will have as our guest of honor one of the greatest entertainers in the world, Eddie Cantor. Besides this, next week's program will have a most unusual novel feature. On the MGM lot, every star, executive, and producer will be present to do honor in celebrating the 61st birthday of an actor who is loved and admired by all of his associates and by millions of theater goers everywhere, Mr. Lionel Barrymore. We will intend to take our microphone under the stage, which will be transformed into a gorgeous banquet setting with all the glorious personalities of the MGM company in attendance. I am sure it will be a thrill that Lionel Barrymore won't forget, and likewise one that our Maxwell House listeners won't forget. So make a date with us right now and put the good news program on your must list next Thursday. We'll be talking to you next Thursday night, so until then, go to the movies and take the family with you. And be sure to see Jeanette McDonald in Broadway Serenade while it's at your favorite theater. This is Bob Young saying good night. This is Warren Hull saying good night and good luck for the makers of Maxwell House, the coffee that's always good for the last drop. This is the National Broadcasting Company.